Hi everyone, today we're going to be making sensory bags. So what you're going to need is a Ziploc baggie, blue um, hair gel. I prefer the bottle because you can squeeze it out. If you get a little cup, you're gonna have to dig it out with a spoon. And some things to go in your sensory bag. So I have some little sequins, they're really shiny. I have this little bag of a fish, a shark, a starfish, a turtle, stuff like that in the ocean, because this is going to be an ocean sensory bag. I have some cute little stars that I might put in there. And then I have this bag of ocean themed beads. So it has some turtles, some whales, dolphins, seals. I think that's it. So what you do first, Get your bag and open up your hair gel and then pour some in there. Okay. And then you're going to take some of your animals you're going to put them in there. Take some sequins. Put a few stars, some pink ones, some orange ones, and then let's put a seal and a turtle and a whale. Okay, so put the rest of this in here, or as much will fit in your baggie. Okay, I think that's good. And then we'll close it up, leave a little bit of space, and then you're gonna get the air out of it. And then close it up. You may want to fold this over and put a clear piece of tape here just to make sure that it stays closed. But then you can move it around. And you can feel your animals inside. You can see them inside and you can make them swim around. And there you go. You have your own sensory bag. Easy peasy. We're going to be making a shark fin hat out of paper, glue, and scissors. And we may need a little bit of tape. We'll see. So what you do first you take one of your pieces of paper, you fold it in half long way, okay, then you take your scissors and you cut down the middle. going to take each of these and fold them in half again, long ways. And then you're going to cut those down the line also. Okay, so now we 
have four of these. Take two of them and let's tape them. We're going to tape them together. Regular tape will work too, but duct tape is all that I could find. So you tape two of them together, just like this, and then you'll go around your head, make sure it fits, and then tape the other two sides together to make a circle. And depending on how big your head is, that's how big you need to make it. If your head's smaller, you can overlap it and then tape on the inside. Okay, so I have my circle and it fits right on my head, just like this. So what you do next is you take one of these and you're going to tape it on the inside right here. So right on the inside of your circle. Okay, and then you're going to make sure that this part will go over and meet right here. So you, and I put my hair in a bun today. Don't put your hair in a bun to do this. So mine's gonna have to go over my bun. So we're going to tape it on the other side. And that way you have a hat that looks just like this. And you can put it on your head just like this, okay? Then what you do, take a full piece of paper and you're going to cut out a shark fin shape. You can draw it out if you want to. I'm going to freehand it. And I kind of put a curve at the bottom because you're going to glue it onto here. So I'm going to take a few pieces of tape. If you want to glue it, you can fold it over on the bottom like this and then glue the bottom and then glue it on. But I'm going to use tape so that we don't have to wait for it to dry. Okay. Tape it down. Tape down this side. There we go. We're going to tape down the front also. There we go. Okay, and now you can put it on your head and it should stand up if you bend it and glue it, but since I taped it, it's not gonna stay. And you have a shark fin, and you can go around and swim and scare all of your family members. Show us your shark fin hats. Bye.